Hello and welcome to my course Chess Openings for Beginners and Club Players. And in this lecture I'll show you the main line of two knights defense variation. Let's start. e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 This is the most popular move. If you play e4 and would like to get advantage but don't want to play bishop b5 because of knight f6 and berlin defense i would recommend to play bishop c4 this move is also considered to be active but what is more important you also avoid italian type of positions how I'll show you later in the next section. Knight f6. Knight to g5, attacking f7 pawn. d5. The only move to protect f7 pawn. e takes d5. Knight to a5. This is the main line. However, black has three more opportunities to play knight takes d5, knight d4, and b5. But we will analyze these moves in our future lectures. After knight a5, you should play bishop b5 check. If now black plays bishop d7, just reply with queen e2 and then develop your knight to c3, for example, bishop e7, knight c3, and white has advantage. That's why the best move for black in this position is c6, d takes c6, b takes c6, bishop d3, to protect e4 square for your knight on g5 h6 knight e4 knight to d5 castle kingside if black plays knight to f4 just move your bishop to e2 it's okay to change this bishop for black knight because you still have an extra pawn Bishop e7, rook e1, to clear f1 square for your white squared bishop. But I would recommend you to change white squared bishop on f5, to play knight g3 and then bishop f5. But please don't forget to develop your own pieces on the queen side. Knight to c3, d3 and maybe change black squared bishop for black knight on f4. Black is considered to have compensation for the lost pawn, but my analysis shows that there is no initiative and of course no compensation. In the next lecture I'll show you a game between two grandmasters and you will see a winning plan for white. Thank you for your attention.